Welcome to Insanely Positive. Your oasis of joy when the world seems gray and full of grumpy faces. I'm Suzanne Freiherz. Thank you for joining me. I'll feed you buckets of joy to bring out your best self so you can live your best life. Hello again to another episode of Insanely Positive. And today I would like to talk about waiting to be seen, the smile supremacy. That's what I called this episode because... It will be about, well, smiles <laughs> and about seeing each other more. But let me start off with a story. And I will take you to an airport lounge. I had an amazing experience there. And I was waiting in an airport lounge and I was super, super tired and my husband Tom and I, we were waiting for another flight. So we had some time, super tired and um, I sat there, I had a coffee and I was just leaning in this comfy chair and I watched a girl, a waitress, a very young girl, about maybe 20 or younger, um, she cleaned all the tables. And she had some sort of a cart that she pushed from table to table and she took away all the dirty dishes. And she went from table to table through the whole room and I watched her. And I just thought to myself how, how lucky I am to just sit here and I'm so tired and I have my coffee and I don't, I don't have to... Um, wash the dirty dishes afterwards, right? They will just be taken away and someone will do this work for me. And so I, with this gratitude, I watched her and I noticed that no one took notice of her. Whenever she came to a table and she took away all the dirty dishes, no one even looked at her. So when she came to me, I handed her my cup of coffee and I smiled at her and I looked at her and I thanked her. And what happened was she looked at me very briefly and then she turned away quickly. And I could see that she was completely caught off guard. She had no idea how to react. And I felt so sad when I thought what it might feel like to be invisible the whole day. To be so used to being invisible that when someone smiles at you and looks at you, you don't even know what to do with that. And I was pondering this thought and I kept watching her. And before she left the lounge area, I think she was about to, to go to the kitchen or something. She was about to pass through a swing door. And she pushed her, her cart there and she had her back turned towards me. But then she slightly turned her head to look over her shoulder and she looked at me. And I smiled at her again. And then something amazing happened. Her whole face lit up. She was glowing. And she returned a tiny small smile. And then she left. And she walked out of the room. And that's just one example. And that's why I wanted to share the story today that shows how a little smile can make a big change and something extraordinary can happen when we just see someone, smile at someone, just appreciate someone who just 
makes our dirty dishes vanish, right? But it also makes me think that sometimes people are just not used to being seen and appreciated. And it takes a while to process a smile, a thank you. And, you know, I share smiles a lot. And it, it happens many times that whenever I smile at someone, the smile is returned much later because people need to process what is going on here. Why is this strange person smiling at me? What does she want from me, right? <laughs> um, sometimes a smile isn't returned at all. And what I see happening, like with this girl, is that people just don't know how to respond and, and they look befuddled and don't know what to do with it. And, you know, when I smile at someone, when we pass by each other on the street, what happens sometimes, it does happen, is that people just look at me and then I smile at them and they don't know what to do with the situation. And then they just kind of keep their distance when they pass by me. <laughs> so a lot of interesting, strange, beautiful things happen when we begin to spread positivity and we smile at someone and we see someone who isn't used to being seen. And I think this a lot of times happens in, in a restaurant, in a bar, and Tom and I, we notice it a lot that waiters and waitresses are very often not really seen. And I had another incident that when we, we had lunch with our family and we ordered our food. And I, I don't remember what it was about exactly, but I shared a laugh with the waitress. I don't know. It, it was something we joked about and it was a nice situation and it was lovely and we had a laugh. I can't remember what it was about. But after that, my mom asked me, oh, where did you guys meet? And I, at that moment, I had no idea what she was talking about. It was like, who? And she, your friend. And me, well, what friend? And she, well, the waitress. And then it clicked. And I just realized that it must have looked that way, that we know each other. But I have met her for the very first time on that day. And that is very interesting to see what it looks like when we behave a certain way. So today I would like to invite you to look at your waiter, at your waitress, and just look them in the eyes. If, they are, if there is a name tag, read the name tag. Remember their name if they introduce themselves. That a waiter or waitress introduces him or herself is not very common in the area I live. But I know that it is common in, in other cultures and other areas. So that's a very, very nice uh, thing, I think. But... Whatever the situation, just make sure that you see them and you thank them when they take your order, when they bring your yummy food to your table and just appreciate that you don't need to cook, you don't need to do the dishes, you don't need, even need to get up from your chair and just know how good you have it and that everything is brought to you and just Focus on this appreciation and then share it with the person who pours your drink and makes your dirty dishes disappear. Okay, And you change the world for this person and your own as well. Of course, always. <laughs> um, another place where we can, we can spread more positivity, I think, is the same thing is going on, the same dynamic of being seen or not seen is going on in the supermarket. I see that a lot as well. Maybe next time when you're in the supermarket and there is a person next to you who fills the shelves with new products, just look at them, smile at them, greet them, just notice them. 
notice them. And same thing at the, at the checkout. We can create a completely different world when we go shopping for food. <laughs> I've seen it happening. My husband Tom and I, we spent some time in New Zealand recently and there it is normal to have a chat with the cashier when you're at the checkout. And we got so used to that. When we came back here, we went to the supermarket and then we were completely surprised that there was no interaction, no little chat, no have a lovely day. And then we decided that we like the other world better and we will create it wherever we go. <laughs> so what we do at the checkout, we keep greeting the cashier, looking at them, smiling at them, wishing them a lovely day. And just, you know, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> Sometimes they are super happy, surprised and happy at the same time. <laughs> um, Sometimes they respond with a smile. They wish us to have a lovely day too. Sometimes they don't really react, but it's all fine. Um, I think when you're sitting there the whole day at the checkout and you're so used to not being seen, to being overlooked, it just takes a little while to realize that actually there is someone who sees you. And that's fine. This process is fine. So... What I love to do um, when I'm waiting in the queue um, at the checkout, I watch the cashier. I just take this moment and I, I watch them and I practice empathy and I imagine what it feels like to sit there the whole day and to not have any humor, human interaction and to, to do all the work and no one sees me. And then I focus on the reality, like before in the restaurant, I focus on the reality of things. Um, the reality that I can be so grateful that this human is sitting there at the checkout because where else would I get my food? <laughs> right? Where else would I get my food? <laughs> I don't grow everything I need myself, so I depend on the supermarket and on humans working there, filling the shelves, sitting at the, at the checkout. And I focus on this appreciation. And with this in mind, I think it's natural to not overlook the person at the cashier and to share a smile and to say hello and to wish them um, a lovely day. Because I think we, I think really you and I, we need to create a different world here because I believe being invisible is one of the worst things. I think feeling alone when you're among people is one of the worst things. So we, you and I, we can begin to see each other more and we can change that and we can create a different reality. We all have so many opportunities to create a happier world for each other. We can smile at each other at the bus station, for example. We can just notice each other. We can see if someone needs help. Maybe you're standing at the bus station or whatever public transport you're using. And maybe there are tourists who need help. And they're not familiar with the schedule and... You see, you read their body language and you see that they need help and you can be the person who offers help. You can be the person who sees them. And this is, this is truly, truly valuable when you do this for someone. Um, Tom and I actually had another amazing experience and it's again in New Zealand. I don't know why, but New Zealand keeps going up. We were exploring Wellington on foot and I don't remember which area we, we were walking along, I don't know, a street. And we just realized it's time to head back to the CBD. And then we started wondering how we would get there. <laughs> so we didn't have a map. We didn't, we didn't 
obviously look for the right way. We didn't stand there and wave our arms and point fingers or look at a map. We were just walking on the sideway, just talking about, well, we should head back soon. We wonder where, where the CBD was. So <laughs> what happened was a biker drove by and a couple of meters in front of us, turned around, came back to us, took off his helmet, and he asked if we needed help. That was amazing. I don't know how he knew, but somehow he knew that we were in need of help. <laughs> and we asked him, how, how did you know that we need someone telling us where to go and giving us directions? How did you know? And he just shrugged his shoulders and he said, well, I just thought so. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> and I'm, I'm super happy to share this story with you to remind us all that humans like that exist. There are humans who are so awake, who are seeing us all in that way. And there is a world where we, we care for each other. And there are humans who read the body language of strangers while passing them by on a bike. And there are humans who offer help before someone can even ask for help. That's pretty amazing. And I think, what if we are these humans from now on, you and I? How about we create a world like this? How about we offer help before someone can ask? How about we see the people who bring our food, the people at the checkout, the people on the street? How about we see each other? And there is more. I think seeing strangers is one thing and it is highly valuable and very important to do so, I think. But also... I think we need to see the humans we take for granted. How about everyone you see every day, at the office, at home, wherever? <clears throat> Your loved ones. We also want to make sure that we see the ones close to us. Let them know that we see them, that we appreciate their presence in our lives. You know, before I sat down to talk to you guys, Tom put a glass of water on the table next to me in case my throat got dry while, while talking to you. And I thanked him. Very normal thing to do, right? He has brought me water, coffee, whatever, lots of other stuff a thousand times before. And I know that I don't have to say thank you each and every time. And I know there would be no drama if I didn't, but I want to. I think that's important to never overlook the people who are close to you, the people we take for granted. And you know, Tom and I have been a couple for 21 years, more than 21 years. We are together 24-7 and that's 24-7. That's <laughs> We're not even separated for an hour. <laughs> But I still make a point in seeing him to not take his kindness and support for granted and to always thank him and appreciate what he does for me. And I invite you today to do the same with your loved ones. Just let a thank you break through the taking each other for granted kind of everyday grayness. <laughs> yes, we, we, I think we show our family and friends how much we love them, you know, by the way we treat them with, with actions. And that's beautiful. And that's important as well. But I think saying it and expressing our appreciation with words just adds another dimension to every relationship. And, and I know every family and every couple um, 
have their own way of communicating. And, and um, I know that it's hard for some to express gratitude and love with words, but I think it's worth practicing because I have never seen a relationship not benefit from it. So I encourage you to explore this option and see what happens and just practice to see the people who are always around you and to just maybe say thank you more often than before because th these are just two simple words, thank you. But they're so powerful. And I always feel that these two small, tiny, little words are like the TARDIS. They are bigger on the inside. So the, the, the TARDIS, for non-Doctor Who fans, the TARDIS is a time machine. Um, from the outside, it looks like a police box, a little blue box where maybe one or two people can fit in. That's what it looks like from the outside. But... When you step inside, there is a whole world within. This time machine is bigger on the inside. And I think the two little words, thank you, are like the TARDIS. They are bigger on the inside. They contain so much more. They say, I see you. I appreciate you. I am happy that you are here. So maybe you want to start being super generous with your thank yous. And you can also be very generous with your smiles. Because through a smile, you just let people know that they are seen, that they are not invisible. And... A smile is pure magic, I think, because we have an abundance of smiles, right? We never run off, no matter how many we share, we never run off. A smile makes the one who gives it happy and the one who gets it happy. So it goes way beyond ourselves. And even when sometimes you don't feel like smiling, but you do so anyway, it makes you feel better. And that's a very powerful thing. And I think we can create a world where a smile is not unusual, but normal. And where a smile doesn't cause people to be irritated and maybe keep their distance. <laughs> but it's normal. And I think a world where a smile is, is normal is a beautiful world. And we can all contribute and create this world of appreciation and then just watch ourselves, how happy it makes ourselves, how everyone around us lights up with joy. So I invite you to do that and please practice it and do it. Don't wait for others to thank you and smile at you. Just do it yourself. Empower yourself. Create what you, you wish for. And if... If your smile is not returned, it's okay. You never know what an effect it has. Um, it could happen that you smile at someone, you pass by on the street, and he or she doesn't react at all. And then you think, oh, uh, didn't, uh, she or did, he didn't return my smile. Nah. <laughs> but just let it go, because you never know what an effect it has. Maybe this person was in a bad mood. Maybe you smile at them passing by on the street and they wonder what the smile was all about. <laughs> but even if they don't understand what is going on, they can't help it but feel more joyful because maybe it was the very first smile they got that day. Maybe it was the very first time that they were seen that day. And then their bad mood drops and then they come home and they bring, instead of their bad mood, they bring a joy and a relaxedness home into their family, which benefits the whole family. So you never know 
what happens when you smile at someone, when you spread kindness, even if there is no immediate reaction, it has effect. No act of kindness ever goes unnoticed. And just remember that a smile can save someone's day. A smile cannot change the whole world, but it can change the world of one person. And that's big. So with this episode today, I want to invite us all to every day create a new normal where we see each other, where humans are not invisible anymore, where we use every opportunity to express our appreciation for each other. Spread your thank yous, spread your smiles, whatever comes to mind, <laughs> to share your appreciation. Begin to see the people who bring your food, the people who are close to you. Don't take them for granted. And you know, when I talked to Tom about today's episode and I told him what I want to share today, he said, well, he just stumbled over a quote that sums up everything that I want to say today perfectly. And I want to share this quote with you. And it's from a book called, If I Could Tell You Just One Thing, um, written by the entrepreneur Richard Reed. And in that book, he asked Bill, Quint uh, Bill, <laughs> Bill Clinton, um, what most contributed to his success? And Bill Clinton answered, and I quote, I've come to believe that one of the most important things is to see people. The person who opens the door for you, the person who pours your coffee, acknowledge them, show them respect. And he goes on, the traditional greeting of the Zulu people of South Africa is Sawubona. It means I see you. And then Clinton says, I try and do that. And how amazing that just when I want to talk about all that, Tom comes across this perfect quote. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Tom, for always finding something that just completes me and everything that we do. So in the spirit of today's episode, <laughs> my biggest thanks to Tom for finding this quote, because I think it, it's such a perfect ending for today's episode, and it sums up everything that I feel so strongly about. And it's amazing that everything falls into place and everything fits together perfectly um, that Tom just um, found this quote just at the right time. And um, yeah, I think it is amazing when we begin to see each other and appreciate each other. It doesn't only create a happier world, it also contributes to success that Bill Clinton said that this was the most, what, what most contributed to his success to practice, to see people, people who pour his coffee, who opened the door for him. That is brilliant. And I'm glad that I can finish today with this quote. And, um, well, speaking of thank yous, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. For our journey together today um, and let me just finish with this beautiful powerful greeting I see you and everyone next time we will continue to explore what it means to see each other and also how we see ourselves I'd like to talk about images we have from ourselves, 
from others, how they are being created, and um, we want to look deeper than the surface, okay? Um, to make sure every new episode is downloaded automatically, you can subscribe or follow in your favorite player. So I, inv I invite you to do that, so to make sure you never miss a thing. Um, this podcast is also available in German, which is my first language, needless to say. So <laughs> if you want to listen to me in German as well, or know someone who would enjoy that, please recommend me. And until we meet again next time, you can spend some time on my website, yuna.com, Y-U-N-A.com. You can find the link in the show notes and you can just um, enjoy my blog, my courses, my classes, subscribe to my newsletter and get inspiration. And um, if you like the idea of today to just be more aware, to bring more heart and kindness into your life, I can especially recommend my course head off heart on head off heart on it's a 40-day online course with lots of hands-on techniques how you can live your full potential and live with purpose and live from the heart and um, to connect with me you can also um, visit me on instagram you'll find me at suzanne freiherz and just let me know um, what you like about Insanely Positive, what you think I should talk about in the future. Just connect. Let me know. Um, thank you so much again for our time together. See you next time here on Insanely Positive. And until then, let positivity pervade every aspect of your being. Let it flood your heart, your thoughts, your words, your actions and everything you are. And remember, create joy and bliss. Shed the negative. The new normal is insanely positive.